Welcome to another Chari Software Products presentation. This presentation we're going to have uh, an overview of the functions of the HP 12C and the architecture of the HP 12C. We're going to be just looking at the functions and the architecture. We won't be doing any problem solving except for maybe a couple of financial ones. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to get on my soapbox here and just point out a couple things where other mm, tutorials and either even printed material will kind of rub me the wrong way or it, it's, it, it's dealing with, let's see, mostly the fact that you never need to clear your HP 12C calculator. There's two keystrokes which uh, are advocated by certain tutorials and, and manuals to, to do before you start a, a calculation on your calculator. The F reg and the F fin. The F reg will clear all of the data from all of the registers on the HP 12C, all of which do not need to be cleared to do anything that you need to do. So it is kind of a meaningless function to do. It's, it's kind of a crutch type thing. It's a weakness. It shows you you don't know how to use the calculator. And I say never use it. The same with FIN. The only thing FIN does is take the five numbers that are in the five financial registers and put zeros in them. Absolutely not required to do, especially if you know how to run the financial registers. So for both of those, don't use them if you can. Try to use your 12C without using the FREG and the FN. They are not needed. They're useless, and as a matter of fact, they take away from the power of the calculator in the sense that they do away with all the numbers that you may have stored in the registers that were there stored there for some reason. Okay? So, the other thing is that everything that happens with numbers on the HP 12C, everything that happens with numbers on the HP 12C, happens between the X and the Y registers. The caveat being, except for the financial problems. The financial problems, they reside in the financial registers and the result is dis displayed in the X register, but the calculations are not done in or between the X and Y register, but all the functions are. If you can grasp these simple facts, you'll master the HP 12C in little or no time and you'll be doing them correctly and much easier too. First of all, let's look at the function groups of the HP 12C. There are six basic function groups in the HP 12C. We'll start with the percentage functions, and there are three keys for the percentage functions. The percent %t, the delta percent, and the percent sign. The percent %t says uh, what percent of the Y register is the X register. Uh, the delta percent says how much do I have to change or what percentage of the Y register do I have to change it by in order to get the X register. Okay, And the percent is, uh, it says give me the X percent of the Y register. But with those three function, or with those three percentage function keys you can do just about all the percentages, numbers, calculations that you need to do and again they only happen between the X and the Y register. Next group is calendar functions. Calendar functions, uh, it, it, this is a great function with a calendar. You can have a lot of fun with these. Uh, but uh, in you put a date one into the Y register. You enter it into whatever format you're in. And you can determine the format by these blue keys under the 4 and the 5 key. Uh, the D.MY and the M.DY is the format in which you key the data into the display. Uh, but whatever date or whatever format you're most comfortable with, d.my or m.dy, you select that uh, format and you enter the date. Uh, put it in the Y register and you get it in the Y register by simply keying it into the display and hitting the enter key. Then you put the date 2 into the display and you press G delta days and you will get the number of days difference between date 1 and date 2. Uh, on the other hand, you can go with date 1. You can put a date 1, enter it into the Y register, and put a number of days difference and get a final date. When you do the get the date, the calculator will give you a day of the week in addition to the date. And it'll tell you whether the day of the week is on a, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, or Sunday. 
And it does this by placing a number there. A 1 would be Monday and a 7 would be Sunday. I know we had a lot of fun with this where you'd put in uh, date 1 and uh, you would look to see when you're going to be 10,000 days old. And you could put the number of days difference in there and get the date that you'd be 10,000 days old. Or 5,000 days or whatever. And uh, you, know, you could celebrate that day uh, as a special day and people might wonder, hey, well, what, what's the celebration about? But you'll know they won't. Again, these only happen between the X and the Y registers. The arithmetic functions, the four basic arithmetic functions, the plus, minus, multiply, and divide, they are just between the X and the Y, as are the special functions. Uh, the thing to remember here with the plus, minus, multiply, and divide functions is that those functions act on the Y register by the contents in the X register. So it's the Y register that gets acted upon by the X register. And it's not confusing when you do an addition because you're just adding the two registers. But when you subtract, you're subtracting the contents of the X register from the Y register. You multiply, you're multiplying the two numbers. That doesn't make much difference. But on the divide, you're dividing the Y register by the X register. If you remember that, it's pretty, pretty simple to do. And you have keys to uh, manipulate the X and the Y registers if you want, so, and to look at them and make sure you can do it before the numbers are correct before you do your operation. The financial functions, uh, there's a couple types of financial functions. The basic financial functions, simple interest, compound interest, growth or investment type, amortizations, and then we get a little more advanced financial, which are you know net present values, uh, discounted cash flows, future values, and internal rates of return. And these are all handled in the five financial registers, which are located just below the display from the NIPV payment and FV registers, the first five keys on the top row, are the financial registers. Now, the financial registers, they don't really use the, the XYZ registers, except they display the final number in the X register. Uh, we will look at two problems, very simple problems in the financial area and or the basic financial and the advanced financial in this tutorial. Uh, the next is the statistical functions. The statistical functions they have are you know, averages, factorials, linear regression, nonlinear regression, or curve fitting, means and standard deviations. And they, these, these functions will use the XY registers to display and input data. And they may also take advantage of some storage registers in addition to the X and Y registers. Okay. And last but not least is the programming feature or the functions the feature group of the calculator is the programming. You can put in 99 lines, have two conditional tests. Uh, you can put in, depending on the size of the program, you can put in well, a number of different programs. If you have some little pet programs, you know, conversion programs of, or things like that, or maybe even your own version of some date functions, uh, you can have two or three of those programs in memory. You just have to position the calculator at the right point and then run, hit the run stop to run that particular program that you're pointing to. Uh, we have uh, developed a program. It's 99 program lines long. It takes up the full programming capability of the 12C uh, for doing uh, cash flow analysis for real estate investment properties. It's been uh, been around for quite a while. It's got a lot of development in it, and it's well accepted in the uh, you know, real estate community. Uh, that's another tutorial that you could look at too from what we have. Okay, these are the six functions for the 12C calculator and there is this uh, tutorial on the, these function groups individual ones I'm going a lot of detail and look at a number of different types of problems so so look for some of our other our other tutorials that we have on the six functions of the HP 12C